We're in Ontario's wine country, Niagara on the lake. We're with Volkswagen and we've got the brand new Golf R. Let's get in and take it for a ride. Whoa. Wow, the power. The sound. What's under the hood of the Golf R? A two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine with a seven speed dual clutch automatic or a standard six speed manual. 315 horsepower, up 27 more than the outgoing model, and 295 pound-feet of torque with the dual-clutch automatic and 280 pound-feet with the manual. It goes 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 4.7 seconds. You're going to have to put premium fuel in this Golf R. Now, this car comes loaded with one exception in Canada. Let's get into the key standard features. What do you get as standard equipment? The Golf R comes with a 10-inch touchscreen. Volkswagen Digital Cockpit Pro with a 10 and a quarter inch instrument cluster, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, a wireless charger, a head up display, Napa leather seating surfaces with R logo, heated front and rear seats, ventilated front seats, four motion all wheel drive with rear axle torque vectoring differential, and blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic alert. There's one difference between Canada and the United States with the Golf R. It's the sunroof. Yeah. It comes standard on the American cars. In Canada, they opted to make it an option because there were people like Zach. me that don't like sunroofs. And also people pe like me who do. And, and also people that go to the track, they want to wear a helmet and it won't fit because of the sunroof. So there are options in Canada and the United States to get it one way. The mode button here, we have it in race. What else do we have to put it in, you, Andrea? You got to put it in S for subscribe. And if you can hit the notification bell, you'll be notified when all of our videos drop and then you can watch them. And we do this twice a week, the couple car review. The first one drops on Wednesday. We put out another couple car review on Saturday. So please subscribe, hit the notification bell. Also follow on Instagram, motormouth underscore Andrea. For me, it's motormouth underscore auto and the links are below. This video is brought to you by CarCost Canada. Get the dealer's cost, list of rebates, plus discounted interest rates. Use the promo code MOTORMOUTH to become an expert member and get extra searches. The link is in the description below. Does sound good, right? Oh my gosh, like just amazing. So you're gonna spend a quite substantial amount of money. You're gonna buy a sporty car with a lot of power. It's gotta sound good. And that's exactly what you get with this. It delivers. It delivers. I can see why people would like this extra power. I mean, for when you need it, whether you're on the racetrack or you're on the Autobahn. What I always say, you want to get away from idiots. Yeah. Oh, there's the police. Don't, don't. don't. <laughs> there's, Honestly, the there's the police. There's the police. Well, speaking of the police, we oh. were doing all of our driving yesterday and we got pulled over by Mike from the RCMP. Yeah. Border Patrol. Border Patrol. Shout out to Mike, new Thanks, subscriber. Mike. We turned it around and said, Mike, come on, subscribe to the channel. So He's a big car fan, so <laughs> this is good for us. So we have been pulled over in Ontario. No ticket, by the way. Yeah. Uh, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah. So it's about getting away from idiots. You know when you're on the highway and there's some idiot doing stupid stuff? Yeah. I just like, I want to get away from them. I like the power for that. Yeah, I, I get it. I get it. I love the power, the technology in this car. I'm not loving the look of this compared to the GTI. Yeah, I think it's the grill. The GTI has a honeycomb grill. This Golf R is a little bit longer than the outgoing model. It has a good sporty look to it, I feel. Also, you get the uh, spoiler at the back of the car. Yeah. You get the blue brake calipers that look good. I just really like those uh, hexagon uh, fog lamps in the bottom of the GTI more than this. That's that's really the big difference for me. Yeah, I think it's quite unique and it stands out in the front of the GTI. I also like the blue strip on the grill. I also like the look of the slimmer LED headlights and the quad exhaust pipes. And the exhaust pipes are real. I know. Isn't that great? <laughs> yeah, we've seen with other Volkswagens to do the fake exhaust pipes. Yeah, no. Nope. We, we crawled under and looked. Now, the inside, this car is more expensive than the GTI, yep. but it has the same interior for the most part as, say, you would get with the Audubon trim of the GTI. Yeah, you get standard 10 inch touchscreen and a 10 and a quarter inch digital driver display. But other than that, um, they're pretty much the same. The interior is similar. You've got some hard plastic and soft materials. The center console has uh, some piano black, which you see in the GTI as well. And then of course you've got this little shifter, which reminds me a lot of Porsche. And the other thing is the seats are exactly the same. Yeah. So it is a Golf and it's just got more 
basic power and features, but for the most part, the interior is the same. But you know what, Zach? You can't get the cloth seats in here, so that means there is no plaid seats. It's only leather. But you know what? The leather is much better quality. I remember driving the previous Golf R and saying, that's the best leather you could put in here. <laughs> right. Now, anybody who owns a current Golf R might be able to uh, basically confirm that. I always thought the leather looked kind of cheap. This looks way better. It's Napa grade leather, yeah. ventilated seats, heated seats, memory rear seats, seats, memory seats. It comes yeah. really nicely equipped. And this is always what I called Audi light. So there's a lot of, you know, stuff you would get in an Audi car in here. And I sure. think that they've done a good job with that. I also really like this new steering wheel. It's perforated, it's heated, and you'll see that there's blue trim, whether it's on the leather or at the steering wheel. And this is also unique to the Golf R. Now the touch screens. So you're either going to love them or yeah. you're going to have to learn to like them because if you like this car and you like the idea, you're going to have to learn to like it. And I'm here to tell you, I wish it had a volume control. I wish it didn't have all the haptic switches. Other brands yeah. have tried this and gone back to normal buttons and switches. So they're pushing forward with this. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see if in the next sort of facelift, if they go back on it or just keep pushing forward with it. Yeah, for sure. This is something that a lot of people complain about. Honda went through it, it had no volume knob, and um, they they've back. gone back to it. Yeah. The lack of physical switches and dials is less intuitive to use, and the capacitive slide feature really isn't ideal. One major issue that VW could rectify is the volume slider and heat controls. They're not backlit, so using them at night is quite annoying. So here's me getting into the second row. The one thing you forget is just how small a Golf is. Yeah. It is a compact car, which makes it great, fun, agile, all of that, but it isn't huge in the back seat. I will say in its favor, though, that the cushion on the seat is really quite good. And I like the practicality of a hatch. Although it doesn't have a ton of space in the the second row or in the cargo area it's very convenient and it's versatile and it's a dying category yeah. like cars are being replaced by SUVs and the fact that this thing still exists is fantastic a hot hatch practical loaded up with all the features so yeah. good for Volkswagen for staying true the Golf R gets an eight speaker Harman Kardon sound system and it sounds quite good. Please just stick with Fender. They have Beats, they have Harman Kardon, they have Fender in their yeah. SUVs and cars. I like the Fender the best. It's, it's the better one in my opinion. All right, lots of questions on this. Of course, it's a hot hatch. Let's get at it. Time now for questions, coffee and cars. Your questions from Instagram. Any word on whether VW will be bringing back the Spectrum custom colors for the Golf R? For those who don't know what Spectrum is, it was kind of uh, dubbed that name. It's a custom paint that you were able to get. There were a lot of different colors. Not anymore. The Golf R only comes in blue, black, and white. And it's interesting because the Spectrum color that I had in the previous Golf R was purple. Here's some images of it. People went nuts for that color. Wow. They loved it. And if you want attention, drive a purple Golf R, but <laughs> not any longer. No. What's better, the Golf R or the BMW M235 240 two-door? Very different cars. Yeah. I mean, that's a two-door, small car, rear-wheel bias. This is a hatchback, more practical less expensive. Yeah, for sure. And I also think that the BMW has a firmer suspension, heavier steering. And I think some people really like that. I like that, but I feel that this Golf R will appeal to a broader range of people. The two series in the BMW lineup is the best car they sell for the price. I mean, they don't have a better car uh, at all in their lineup for that price, but it's the same thing at Volkswagen. This is the best car in their lineup yeah. for the price. You get so much in it. The 315 horsepower sounds exciting. How does it handle torque steer? Okay, this is a bit involved. So it's got an all-wheel drive system, we know that. Yeah. So it's a Haldex system which enables it to send 50% of the torque to the rear wheels. Yeah. Now the big change for this model year is the fact that they have this torque split rear differential now. It's made by Magna and it's able to take that 50% and divvy it up, up to 100% to one wheel, yeah. which means it can overdrive one wheel. That's why the car now has drift mode. I know what I'm doing. 
Okay, that was good. So the best way to think of this is like the Ford Focus RS that had a similar kind of setup with a very lively rear end. And this has uh, the same thing. I like a lively rear end. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I think that it handles better, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, it's, it's more it's, agile. Yeah. Well, back to that thought for just a second. Uh, they had a previous Golf R event on the racetrack. Uh, Patrick Carpentier, the famous race car driver, was instructor for the day. So when you see the video, that's Patrick Carpentier driving in front of me we drove around Calabogie and at the end of it I came away with it feeling like it was a bit soft oh yeah and a bit not that fun it was it's fast but not fun this is more fun this is lively yeah. this is exciting I really like it too I owned a 2016 Golf R and loved everything about it except cornering that's when it fell short of a sports car. Has that improved? Yes, most definitely it's improved. So they changed the spring rates of this car, and then we just talked about the rear differential. Yeah. Um, so that's making the car feel more dynamic in the corner. So previously, it was so competent and so planted, it came off a little bit dull, to your point, and that's what I experienced on the racetrack. Now it's much livelier, and you can what's called throttle steer. You can th steer the car with the back, with the throttle, makes it more fun. We're here driving the GTI as well and it's made me think a little bit about do I really need all this power for my daily driving use? I don't think I do. The GTI provides a lot of entertainment for me and I enjoyed it even more than this. Can you believe I'm saying that? But I think that you'd really need to think about the price point. I could pick up a GTI for less. I kind of like the exterior look of the GTI more with that honeycomb grill. So for me, I'm a big fan of the GTI. Yeah, the GTI starts at $32,000. It's a hell of a lot of car for the money. And this is a lot more money, so it depends on your budget. Listen, all-wheel drive in Canada makes a lot of sense. Yeah. They call it the perfect Canadian sports car, and there's a lot to be said for that. All-wheel drive, practical. You're not driving it on the edge all the time, but it's no. nice to know it's there if you need it. And if you live in a climate where you don't need all-wheel drive, then maybe the GTI is something that you would consider as well. GTI is great. And next is our hot topic. What's this one, Andrea? How is the performance and handling compared to its competitors? Do you think the interior is nicer than the outgoing model? Now we do have four year consideration coming up where we get into the power and the pricing of each of these, but it's worth mentioning what kind of competes against this. I would say first and foremost would be like the Civic Type R. Yeah, Civic Type R is a good one. The WRX is another one. Yeah, and WRX is just about to come out and it's ugly. <laughs> yeah, they it's didn't do really a... not attractive at all. No. I'm sure it's fun to drive. Oh, it'll but... be great to drive. It's yeah. just like, could they try any less on the outside? Terrible. Uh, like we say, not winning any beauty contests. Uh, the Audi side gives yes. you the S3. So the S3, Zach, I got a question for you. Would you consider the S3 over this? It has a starting price of just under 48000 Of course, you've probably got to add features. You're not going to get it fully loaded like this, but this is just over forty six. Well, they always delineate between the two brands with yeah. value on the Volkswagen side. So this comes fully equipped. That one, you're going to have to add packages. So, yeah. And I like a hatch more than a sedan. Yeah, and me too. So if I'm going to get an, uh, an S3 A3, I'm going to get the RS3. Now that mm. is a totally different beast. And there was some thought that maybe they would use that engine in a Volkswagen, but it's not happening. The other one that's going to be interesting to watch, Andrea, is the new Integra from Acura yeah. uh, to see exactly what they do with that. And why did they ever get rid of that? I mean, what a great nameplate. It sold so well. They had a legend. Acura had a legend. I know. And they blew it with their names. They try and be innovative, but sometimes it falls flat, right? And mistakes are made. Well, that's what happened. A new boss comes in and goes, oh, we're going to change all the names. Dumb, dumb, dumb. At least Volkswagen sticks with golf. That's working. Yeah. Oh, wait a second. He used to be a rabbit. I like the rabbit. What a great name. <laughs> they brought it back for a short time yes. in the U.S. And they dumped it because it didn't resonate. It, 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 Too that, late. It's it, gone. It had passed. Yeah. yeah. So we've talked about the competition, but how much power do you get and what's the price point? For your consideration four vehicles for you to consider. First up is the Audi S3 with a two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine with 306 horsepower and a starting price just under $48,000. The Honda Civic Type R with a two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine, 
306 horsepower and a starting price of just over $46,000, front wheel drive only. Up next is the current Subaru WRX STI with a 2.5 litre turbocharged 4 cylinder engine, 310 horsepower and a starting price of just over $40,000. Subaru has announced a new WRX with 271 horsepower from a 2.4 litre turbocharged engine but pricing hasn't been confirmed. And finally, the Mercedes-Benz AMG A35 with a 2-litre turbocharged 4-cylinder engine, 302 horsepower and a starting price of just over $51,000. So, there are four fun, high-performance cars for you to consider. So this car comes fully equipped with just one price. Let's get into the fuel economy, the power and all that with our vital stats. Let's start with pricing. The six-speed manual is just under $45,000 and the seven-speed dual clutch automatic just over $46,000. There are no JD power ratings for the Golf R, but the Golf gets a quality and reliability score of 73 out of 100. Car Edge states the Golf R will retain 46% of its value after five years. Here's the fuel economy for the automatic. It's 10.3 liters per 100 kilometers in the city, 7.7 .7 on the highway. That's 23 miles per gallon city, 30 miles per gallon highway. This Golf R and the GTI are made in Germany and it comes with a four-year 80,000 kilometer or 50,000 mile warranty, which is more than the competitors. Lightning round. Two things you like, two things you like to see improve. Well, I love how exciting this is to drive. You get in it and you know you're going to have a great time. I love the changes to the suspension and the all-wheel drive system. What I'd like to see improved is bring me back a volume knob. And the interior isn't different enough from the GTI. Sporty, entertaining, and exclusive. Does it get any more fun? Thing is, they've done a great job of giving you everything for one price. I love that. This video is brought to you by Car Cost Canada. Get the dealer's cost, list of rebates, plus discounted interest rates. Use the promo code MOTORMOUTH to become an expert member and get extra searches. The link is in the description below.